What's shaking, folks? Day two. Gov Cup. Here we are in the marina. Last flight out. I, f I feel calmer than I would expect. Let's put it that way. Josh is a cucumber. He doesn't even need me today. He's catching five fish. I'm going to take a nap. It's going to be a good day. We're sitting in what place, Josh? Second. I think we're two ounces out of the lead. Uh, I told Cody if we didn't catch 50, we want to be in second for, you know, you want to always come from behind. It sounds really cool. So that's what we're up to right now. Cody left a few for us yesterday. They were big. Josh doesn't let me forget that part of yesterday. No, it was perfect. Cool. I'm legitimately thinking him. It doesn't remind him. me of the giant I caught right in the morning to get us going. Oh, he corrected me to keep me from running off a spot when we went back in Jack Giants. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. Now, so, we're having fun. Good, nothing better. It's going to be sunny today. We like sun. We're going to have a blast. Ellie, Jaden, Addy, I love you guys. I love you too. I'm going to catch you later. <laughs> love Heather Marie.
came back to you again. We were we were we came up. to you. We saw yeah. the boat out. We're like, ah, we gotta go see our well, friends. Well, Thank you. Know the boat was anyways. We we gotta keep the suspense going for you guys too. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's up, folks? If you couldn't tell, it's no longer July. It's uh, it's January, and I'm out ice fishing on Fort Peck right now. Um, long story short, we didn't get any more fish. Eh, I got a laker coming in here, actually. Give me one sec. Come on, eat it. Got him. There we go. I'll get back to narrating about the Gov Cup here in a sec. Just got to try to land this laker. I have a hard enough time talking and breathing at the same time, much less trying to fight a fish and talk, so. There we go, cute, cute little guy. Cute little licker. There we go, just dropped my camera in the water. That was not good. There we go, cute, cute little lake trout. This is a good eater size variety. Right there. Get it right back in. You can see what she just spit up right there. That's a Cisco. That's what makes the big fish out here big for the most part. These juicy critters. Doesn't matter if it's the, uh, if it's the Lakers, walleye, bass, everything out here they key in on these guys and we were keyed in on the big cisco eaters on fort peck during the tournament worked out really well day one and you know um even just talking about the bite and how it went it's kind of interesting because during the tournament you know i think we fished about as well as we could have <laughs> just didn't come together uh you know day two anyways day one was awesome um want to say a huge congrats before I get too far to Witt and Carly Rush for putting together two big bags two days in a row. They had consistent days and that's not easy to do. And also the Chapel Brothers, they one had a big mega bag and good work to them and everybody else. It, it was an awesome tournament. Thanks to everybody who ran it, directed it, etc. It was a blast. But anyways, uh, talking talking about the tournament a little bit and how, and how it went. I mean, day one was awesome, obviously. Uh, day two you know i don't know it was, i don't have to check the time but i think it was by 9 30 in the morning we had three tanks and after that third fish i mean i i, felt, I thought we needed one more fish to, to put it you know to finish it off and we would have needed one more fish we just didn't catch it but after that third fish i mean i, I thought we were gonna i thought it was ours um i thought we were gonna, gonna have enough time to put it together and win the tournament and it didn't come together that's the way it goes sometimes uh i was you know kind of shocked but you know and we we stuck with the reaction bite you know reaction bait bite and you know should we have mixed it up a little bit i don't know it's hard to say we had fish making hard moves at our bait swatting at our bait you could kind of feel them pushing on it and see them you know mo making moves at our bait so it's hard to really put it away that being said uh you know maybe some live bait rigging would have paid off to you know put that last couple of fish in the boat i don't know but uh you know we fish hard i think it's just kind of the way it goes sometimes um you know it's kind of interesting too because you know for that tournament it kind of seemed like there was areas where i knew where some dink fish were like you know small eater size fish and then there were some areas that had small to mid size and giant fish mixed together but honestly i feel like those spots were clobbered with pressure so the spots that cody and i tended to target um had very few fish on them relative speaking but they were giants they were uh definitely keying in on cisco out there like i said these critters right here this is what makes makes the fish fat on fort peck right here and you can see these things are not small they're a good size bait fish they can be a lot smaller the young of the year but you know um it can make the big big fish bite very fickle so like i said we're very thankful for how we did day one um you know and day two i i don't know i i think uh you know if we were slightly earlier slightly later timing rotation etc you know um 
I think I think it could have had a little bit different, you know, flavor today too, and could have gone differently. But, anyways, we had a blast. We're looking forward to coming back. Um, didn't want to bore you with just, you know, staring at uh, footage of, you know, us catching nothing the rest of the day too. So, just thought I'd sum it up a little bit. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'd appreciate if you guys would subscribe to my channel. I'm looking to put out some more content. Uh, I do a lot of my fish on Fort Peck and Lake Sakakawea, so that's where you're probably going to see a lot of the content from. Try to put out some helpful tips. Try not to like give away spot on the spots or anything like that, but try to get, you know, give out tips to get people started. I love helping people out, love teaching people, and it's a blast. So, anyways, looking forward to next year's Gov Cup.